Hello guys, if anybody is interested, I bought this U-grip uh, thing. It's basically because you can see it's shaped like a U, this camera mount here. And you can mount a camera here on a tripod, uh, that screw mount thing, or this also comes with a phone holder. So you can basically find this from uh, a lot of different Chinese sellers, I believe. I got this from Aliexpress, but of course you're probably gonna find the same one at Banggood or like eBay. And they come in different bundles. You probably, uh, they started uh, when I bought it at like $17 to $70. So I think the lowest bundle is just the camera mount you thing here. Then you also have the phone holder. Uh, video microphone and also this LED light so I just went for the full bundle so I think this cost me $70 and uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for but in the start I will have it on my use it with my try to use it with my phone because the lens on my Nikon camera is in pieces now because I tried to fix it because the zoom lock button which is a common problem on the Sigma 70 to 50 millimeter is uh, did lock up and you can't really undo it if you're not uh, handing it back to the store or try to screw it open but it was a little bit harder than I thought and you have to dismantle the whole lens so it's now just in pieces they're opening the package, I have not taken a look at this myself yet, so I'm a little bit excited. So then let's just start with the U-grip here. It is actually pretty light. Uh, I thought it was actually meant to be in metal, but uh, it's actually plastic that's probably a reason why it's a little bit cheaper if you can see here from the top I can bend it both ways but then it's probably gonna act like a little bit of a bumper a bump absorber I'm not sure but I'm not thinking I'm ever gonna break this so on the top you have these uh, this common uh, uh, flash holders so you can probably mount some screens or the wider microphone or LEDs on top here and on the bottom here you have this tripod screw here so you can mount any camera uh, which is one of those uh, or you also have the you also have the the um, phone holder that I also bought with this one here so yeah so this is probably the phone holder and as you can see all of this is called like Ulansi never heard about it before Ulansi so this is the phone holder I'm using one to hold the phone on a tripod right now but that one is from like a selfie stick that I never used, so it's a little bit wobbly. I tried to make a video mounted in, in my car to film and it was just shaking around. I'm not sure if that is because of the <coughs> of the iPhone or if just the whole mount was wobbling a lot because the pictures were not great. So this phone holder here is in all metal and tighten it by screwing on this metal screw here to make it bigger and smaller so it's probably gonna grip really good around the phone and it also got these rubber pads on the inside because this is metal so you're not gonna scratch your aluminium phone or plastic phone and you just Screw it in place like this. So 
So here we have the phone holder mounted on. As you can see, it, this grip is not really that big, so I think it fits a phone perfectly. I have an iPhone 7 Plus, so it's a little bit bigger <coughs> than a normal phone. And I try, I think I will like review all of these things later in different videos. Taking a look at this um, video right here. Just a bunch of these, uh, I'm not sure if you called it like a straw hat LEDs. They are pretty cheap LEDs, but they do the job, I believe. And you got different filters. Uh, one clear and one yellow for different color temperature or Kelvin from the lights and this is actually magnets so it's easy to do it's easy to lose the covers and it's easy to change it depends on how you see it so you can mount it like this and all the way around like this yeah you get the point but I haven't uh, I don't got any of these video lights before so night shots and uh, stuff like that probably gonna be uh, looking a lot better but we'll see about that and uh, in the you also like in the text description uh, they like recommended to get the road mic and they uh, got you a link but I just went for the full package and they supplied with this microphone I'm not sure if it's good but it looks to be out of fairly good quality and I'm not gonna spend uh, a lot of money on getting a professional road mic, mic or anything like this as you can see this got like a dead cat uh, wind protection and also this vibration uh, dampener here, so I think uh, you will not get as much um, bumping sounds when you handle this uh, ear grip that transfer into the mic. But as you can see, it's even got like this hole sticker here, so it's maybe legit, but I'm not sure. But I got uh, another cheap mic a long time ago. Never used it because uh, it got these weird batteries I never bothered to buy. So, and it also, from watching other videos on YouTube, it got a hissing sound. But this actually looks nice. I think it's just a copy like of a Rode microphone. Uh, it's not directional or anything. I just think it puts out sound. Get some from everywhere. As you can see, this is actually a reasonably good bumping unit here. I will probably test this in a different video, and then you get this RX cord here, like this. Maybe try to plug it into my phone now and see if it will work. I think I will have to stop the recording. Otherwise it will probably not do anything. And I'm sorry I forgot. I got the iPhone 7 Plus or iPhone 7 for that matter. And it doesn't have a AUX uh, input. So, And my converter thing is in Sweden now. So I will have to try this at a different occasion. And that was, and you also get another, another RX cord, but I will not be able to try this before a later occasion. I'm not sure if this probably here maybe just works on normal cameras, and as you can see, this one here got more of inputs and it also says here for a smartphone and this for the microphone so uh, I have tested before that you cannot just plug any mic into your phone as you also maybe have tried but yeah 
So this is hopefully, this mic is hopefully also gonna be working on uh, iPhones and stuff like that. I'm not sure if this even needs a battery. Be, would be really nice if it does need one and I don't think you would. Taking a look at the box here, no battery required, that is really nice because it's just one less thing to think about when you're out on the run. And you also got this nice bag here for the for the microphone. Like this. You probably just want to have it mount it here somewhere like this. be better for this to be on the top because this little red plastic bumper thing is a little bit flimsy so So I'm not sure what, oh, okay, it was just a cable, but. So this is like the whole setup here. I'm not sure if it looks professional or anything, but it's probably gonna do its job. And I will try it out in a different video. But this is what you get with this bundle here, if you're interested in a year grip. I think it will be more than enough, but keep in mind, that these cheap ones is actually in plastic. That was something I was not aware of. So keep that in mind. And maybe have a look out for the ones that are made in metal. 